some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. First things first, I've got a little issue with a copyright claim I want to talk about. Last night before I went to bed, I got an email about this video right here called Frauditor Wins the Prize for Stupidity. It was just a standard YouTube message from the claimant that I need to take it down in the next seven days. But I am not going to do that. I am not going to take it down. It fits within the guidelines of the DCMA. And I explained that to them in the email that I sent back to the claimant. The worst that's going to happen in this case is that the video gets taken down within the next few days and only stays down for a few days after that. I am not worried about it. He can be butterhurt all he wants to be. Now that I got that little bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's move on to the frauditor of this video. And that would be Jaker, the Knoxvillian Sentinel. He is at the Knox County Clerk's Office, where he tries to exercise his absolute right to film in public, but he is easily turned away by the security guard. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here at the Knox County Clerk's Office and today we're going to see if they respect our rights to audio and video photography. Um, it is 3 o'clock, sunny, it's around 70 degrees. I'm going to take a quick stroll around the building. Five hours later. No cell phones on that door. Let's keep going. I love the trees. They're so pretty over here. His original video is about 17 minutes long, but he spends about 10 minutes of that video pacing up and down this ramp talking about weed. So I'm just going to skip all that quality content and jump to the main event. Many, many minutes later. Let's see if they respect. Hello. Oh, okay. Is this accessible to the public right here? Um, only if they're going to driver's license and they're not going to the driver's license section, then no. They have to schedule an appointment to be back here? No, they just have to wait their turn. Okay. I wasn't sure if that this was publicly accessible or okay, not. It is in the public's turn to go through. Sure. Okay. Maybe I was misunderstood. I mean, uh, just kept wandering the back though, where the clerks are working without having a reason to be back there because they're working. Well, I, and they've got people's personal information on the screens. That, that's their job to keep that information private, though. If, and mine, too, which is why you're not going back there. But I'm pretty sure that's a violation of the First Amendment because it's this is public property and I paid for this building. Okay. Well, you can work with that if you like to, but you're still not going back there. You frauders keep on preaching about they need to create the privacy. But when they do, you bitch whine and complain and get all butthurt when they do that by keeping you 
out of the area where the privacy is supposed to be at. And it's not a violation of the First Amendment, you moron. So why don't you pack up and leave? But that's a violation of the First Amendment. Yeah, okay. Still not going back there. Can I get your name and badge number? Sure. It's a eight. J Plankers. Okay. I'll be writing a complaint against you. Okay, good. For your inability to comply with the law. Great. Got anything to say for yourself? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. You too. Well, that was um, unsuccessful. I really do feel like he's in the wrong right there and that we are allowed to go back there. If we weren't allowed to go back there, people wouldn't be going back there. Oh, shut your mouth, you butthurt little frauditor. As far as I can see, you're the only one in there with the camera. And they were trying to protect an area that has sensitive information in it. You moron. So they kept the privacy going by keeping the security risk out of the area. Bravo on them.